stabilize over time. Yeah. Yes. Um, and, and you could. You could. Since I'm usually pretty bad at this part, let's do a little bit of narrative framing. Step one, I made it out of the house. Congratulations, me. Step two, I got some coffee. And today, I'm doing some Hazel-related chores. Since she's working, I'm putting some books back in the library and picking up a thing from the post office. So, and some more Cheerios, and something else I needed from the store, but the store. Give myself a project. I've ever actually been downtown this early before. The overcast nature of everything is also tricking my mind into thinking it's something like four o'clock. So half the stuff isn't open and it's always surprising. This whole town operates from like one till eight. So much stuff isn't open in the morning and isn't open late at night. It's crazy. Today's been an unusual success. Hazel got some kind of unmarked white box from Germany. Other than that, I guess I've got to figure out some way to get to the mall or wherever the stores are. Get some Cheerios. Alright, <clears throat> I got some grip tape. Now I just need food. But uh, this appears to all be Legos, so this is the wrong aisle. I can't believe it's only like 12.30. This is great. I love waking up early. This is the, like an ideal situation. Parker didn't send me these for the record. I'm not famous enough for people to start sending me stuff. But uh, if you're looking for a nice, like, reliable stainless steel mechanical pencil, the Parker Jotter is killer. Feels amazing in your hand, writes really well. I accidentally ordered two, but wouldn't mind having two, so there you go. But uh, you know, Parker, Parker pens and mechanical pencils want to send me a, a sponsorship. You know, that'd be nice. I wouldn't turn that down. But it's also not like I've ever seen an advertisement for this, this pencil uh, anywhere. Like... <laughs> camera keeps randomly stopping but this grip tape I got for five dollars from the skate shop is like a million times better than whatever garbage came on this thing. All right let's go back inside. Holy moly! 
Glad I got in. All right. Hair's too long. Well, that didn't really work. That's too frightening. I'd like you to help me with the back, yeah. Here. Do you want to continue doing it? It's a freaky fucking sound. <laughs> Clean up the back with this. off to a certain length. Mm. You have to trim it like a shrubbery. do is stop in the middle of I want to get to that spot in the middle of the haircut where you're like that looks good and then they keep going and they fuck it up you know how you all know, haircuts you could, work yeah you, know, you could tell them care about. <laughs> See, my hair gets so long that it starts pushing my hat off of my head, which makes it super frustrating to live my life. So, my head feels significantly lighter, so that's good too. <laughs> I can also cut my own hair pretty consistently because long hair, or hair as curly as this, very forgiving because you just comb it out and it poofs out and all the times you fucked up kind of get hidden <laughs> I'm actually really happy with that <laughs> you know what if I went to any hairdressers on the planet I'd be pretty pissed at it but one, I know what I want, and two, I have very low expectations of myself. So if I get it looking like fine, I'm like, holy moly! And my head's significantly lighter, and summer's coming. This is your, uh, this, this, this is a hot new summer hairstyle. I'll, I'll do a little, I'll do a little turn. With a little shoulder movement in it. Yeah, it is something my mom would do. There's all my hair, right on the ground.